we have a few people from the United Nations and the people are now speaking about things that concern them and it's happening right now. <laughs> Social solutions can only come through education. So my question is, can you please ask the government, just as we have a very fine human rights department uh, at Essex, a world leading human rights department that are very well represented here today, can we have a human responsibilities department please, that is coming up with educational programs that they can feed into Eaton and Harrow, <laughs> Tendry Coastal Academy and Harwich County High School and start it off with our primary school. A human responsibilities program please and they need to get out and have a look at the issues and they need to get on the streets. They can come out with me when I street pastor. I'd love them to. They can go with Cat and see what the real problems are. Let them learn by experience. Please. their story um, today. It takes an awful lot of courage um, to tell everybody that. Um, my question, um, Philip, is every time a govern government minister is on the TV and is given the stories that you've heard today, we get empty platitudes back, which is there is much more money going into education than there ever has been before. There's more money going into the NHS than there ever is before. And I would like to know, what are you going to say when they tell that to you?
company locally. And uh, universal credits is not just about poverty and hunger, but it's pushing the crime rate up. Yeah. I have seen a spike in burglary. Uh, not everybody's a criminal, they're not all homegrown criminals. When people are hungry and they're desperate, they do desperate things. And the youngsters got nothing, no help, and all they've done is branded criminals. It's not right, it's terrible. Burglary is a terrible thing. But it's universal credits is pushing good people. They've got to eat, they've got to go out and provide. And it's pushing the crime rate up. Not many people in my industry would, would say that because I should be rubbing my hands together because I'm getting loads of work and a nice few quid. But it's wrong, it's not right. <coughs> We've sent £98 million pounds to India, we've sent £4 billion pounds to Africa, and we cannot feed our own veterans. There's people in this room who struggle to eat, struggle to feed them. That money, that, if you split £4 billion pounds this year between the people that are on universal credit, they would no longer be in poverty. So how is it acceptable for us to send £4 billion pounds to Africa and £98 million pounds to India when people in our own country can't eat, it's ridiculous. What will you say to them about the fact we send all these billions of pounds every year, they say we're going to save £350 million a week by Brexit, but now we have to pay the divorce bill in billions. So we might as well have not done Brexit and just spent the money on universal credit to take all these people out of poverty. In Jaywick, in fact, I'm Mandy's neighbour. So, um, I do what I can, when I can, to help my fellow Jaywickians. Um, I am on disabilities. I have 13 chronic illnesses, and yet look at me. I'm as fit as a fiddle, according to some. I've got hardly any teeth left, all the bones are going plus numerous other problems. However, Jaywick has one particular problem which draws us down, and that is because Tendering District Council, Essex County Council, with the blessing of the government, pay any landlord the rent they're asking. You get a place go for £550 a month, a one-bedroom hall with rats, and yet, and no windows. I have friends, I have several friends with no windows, through no fault of their own, and the landlord says, oh, we'll make that good if you clear the front. We'll make that good if you do this. It's not down to the tenant. No, no, quite like Expose his name If then. ten, Expose we all the know his name then to everybody, so the media can hear. Yeah. Well, we've got one meeting here, please, thank you. I won't say his name out loud because I don't want to get sued and I don't want my windows put in. But we all know who he is and I will say it privately. <coughs> so if he's listening, I've had enough. Our street. Um, I have a garden next to me. That I rent with the blessing of the council. And from there, I produce fruit, veggies, and everything, and I give it away every year. This year, in one night, all our fruit disappeared down the road because we've got trees. We planted them, friends of workers, and we're proud of our trees. Some arseholes come and eat every single one. Every apple, every pear, every cherry, all gone. Now we have a suspicion that it was a put-up job by a certain landlord. Don't know if it's true. But there's pressure. It's, we all get pressure. 